On April 30th, the Cyprus U.S. Chamber of Commerce hosted its annual career and internship fair in Manhattan, giving once again the opportunity to job seekers to meet one-on-one with potential employers. Several companies from different industries participated again this year and discussed career opportunities with those in need of a job. The highlight of the event was Dr. Peter Stavrianidis, who gave some tips about effective interview techniques and resume writing. Mr. Stavrianidis, a nice presentation uh, today uh, w- with the uh, crowd. The, the, the crowd uh, was quite impressive despite the bad weather, but um, I would like you to uh, share with our viewers uh, the few uh, key uh, points of your um, presentation this afternoon. Well, what I did, uh, and I told the the young people, mostly who are young people in the audience, that I wanted not to teach or to preach, but just to share uh, some uh, basic but powerful pointers about how to market yourself in business and in life, of course. And one of the things that I spoke about is what an employer is expecting for a a prospective uh, employee and how for that person to be prepared to give a very powerful and effective interview. And of course, I covered some pointers on on how to prepare. And then I said, once you are hired for this company, some of the things that you can do. And and as, as I remember, one of the things that I believe is the most important is to treat this position as if it were your own company. In other words, not to count the hours that you spend helping this company grow, but to make those hours count. And that makes a difference there. And the other thing that I spoke, which I think it's very important, that learning is endless. As uh, Aristotle said, education can be bitter bitter while you're you're getting it, but the fruits are very sweet. So we can, I think we can learn a lot from that alone, which means that learning is perpetual we should be perpetual students. Because once we stop learning, once we stop growing, then we start dying. And of course, we don't want to do that. Anything else you would like to share with us as we conclude our uh, brief uh, interview? Well, uh, another thing that I said, which I learned from some very, very successful people, and uh, it's become a very common adage for me, which I share with people that you got to be consistent because consistency is far greater than a few moments of greatness. Let me repeat that. Consistency is far greater than a few moments of greatness. As long as someone is consistent, everything else will fall in place. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Nice turnout despite the bad weather uh, during your uh, annual internship fair. Um, what else, what would you like to share with us this uh, wonderful afternoon? Yes, Elna, you're right. The weather outside is uh, not very good. Uh, you know, our original career fair was April 9th, but we had to move it to April 30th, which um, which was which was fine. But unfortunately, we have the bad weather today. But like you said, in spite of everything, I think we have a very good crowd. Uh, a lot of new companies came out to support us and to offer jobs. And you know, even if you help one or two or three people, to us that's considered a success. And what we do is we also take people's resumes and we post them online and we send them to companies, uh, you know, that we can do a match of the uh, applicant and the company. So if anybody out there wants to send us the resume, they can do so and, you know, we can help them that way. You know, we're not a personnel agency, so we don't follow through every day. But if we see that there's an opening, we're very, you know, we're more than happy. Uh, You want to give the website out? Yes, the website is uh, cypressuschamber.com. And if they want to send an email, they can send it to me, which is director at cypressuschamber.com. What else uh, are you um, uh, organizing in the very near future? I know summer is around, uh, and usually you take some time off. uh, But is there anything that you would like to announce? Yeah, we're planning something in the fall. we're going to do something like an art and maybe book signing, art show and book signing, and bring some local, very good talent that's out there um, and, and do like a little fundraiser, um, you know, especially for our young people. 
So that's something that we're going to plan on in the fall. And, you know, we'll let you know about the other activities. But our main event, which we're not having this year in May, we're going to have it next May, uh, 2015, our award dinner, which we'll be announcing, you know, in the future. But, you know, we plan to have a lot of interesting speakers and topics in the future for the chamber. Lesbina, thank you so much. As always, you're doing a great job because you're the heart and spirit behind the chamber as the uh, chamber's director. Thank you so much. Thank you, Elena. Congratulations. Oh, and I just want to say good luck on your fundraising. <laughs> I hope that you're very successful because you deserve it. Members of the Cypriot Young Professionals, the youth division of the chamber, also participated, offering power mentoring sessions to young job seekers. So, Laura, uh, you're the chairman of the uh, Cyprus Young Professionals of the uh, Cyprus U.S. Chamber of Commerce, and uh, uh, you participated in the uh, in the. Um job fair today. Is this your first job fair that you're participating? For CYP, yes, it's our first time here. We're so excited. We were inaugurated in June of 2013. Uh, it's been an amazing um, 11 months. Uh, we're so excited. We had such a great uh, number of young professionals in attendance looking for opportunities in art and music and teaching, accounting, law, audit, etc. Uh, we were so happy to have a presence here. The chamber has been wonderful in supporting us uh, and it's it's been great today. Mm -hmm. Now I know you're a very dynamic uh, young woman and uh, under your leadership uh, the uh, CYP as you call it in, in short uh, has a, a quite big network. How many uh, people in your network? Well, with a combination of Facebook, Twitter, our listserv, we have over 500 people, and that ranges from here in New York, across the United States, as well as globally. So we're very excited. Uh, we're able to reach everyone from locally, regionally, nationally, and also globally. So it's very exciting, and we're, we're on our way. We're so excited. We're, we're excited for uh, 2014 as well as beyond. And you had some uh, some wonderful events uh, recently. Uh, and are you planning any uh, future events? We're very excited. So in May we'll have a networking event. It's something that we typically have two to three months, uh, every two to three months. And then in June we'll have our big uh, birthday bash, which we're very excited about. That's undergoing right now. Um, and then we'll do a few events in the summer. We'll get ready for the school year to get new members involved uh, in the young professional community. Uh, we love to do charitable events, we love to do cultural events, um, anything that can bring the young professionals together. So we're very excited for the next few months.